it is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you my friends, my husband, and my mayor, David Green. Thank you very much. Not every day you get to get introduced by your bride. Welcome, everyone. I'd like to uh, thank John Henry and his entire staff here at the Stone Time Terrace for once again making us feel so welcome as we pay it forward for the fifth time tonight. Before we get things going, I have to thank my wonderful wife, Catherine, uh, who really, without her, nothing in my life is possible. We are actually celebrating our 20th year this year. And there's no small feat getting married to me. <laughs> she's been my partner in business and in life. We've raised two wonderful kids. And she's also been one of the people responsible for helping bring this event to life. I want to thank you. Many people think it's easy to be the child of a mayor. Have to be all kinds of uh, perks and privileges, right? But my daughter Ashley has learned it's all about service to others, and I am proud to say that she is committed to High Point University. Oh, good crying, right? <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina has major in nonprofit management and will continue to giving back to her community. All right. My son Brent could not be with us tonight, but he did say that I could speak on his behalf. <laughs> he is extremely excited that we are getting a Wawa, but she <laughs> let me know his favorite restaurant. We're coming on one third. I'd like to thank our brilliant MC, Janine Savino of Berkshire Bank. Through all the years, Janine has always had our back. She may live in Hamilton upgrade her one of these days. <laughs> we really do consider her family in Robinsville. Let's give her a round of applause. We talk a lot about community safety and the outpouring of support in the township, not only tonight, but throughout the year. They call it the Robinsville bubble. For a small town, we've experienced more than our share of tragedy this past few years. Perhaps never before has the bubble been so apparent in the past month for a wonderful family who endured an unspeakable tragedy. It is an absolute honor to welcome Seymour and Marcy Josephson, who were gracious enough to be with us here tonight. Samantha's name by teaching others to ask what my name. On the morning, this is a story. On the morning of my first interaction with the Mercer Street friends, I was a little confused. <coughs> I have to admit, I had a proclamation to give them on Make a Friend Day. I started thinking to myself, how am I giving them a proclamation? We just donated 400 heads of lettuce. <laughs> I started thinking, shouldn't I be getting a proclamation? <laughs> and then I walk in the door. And I saw people moving cases of food and creating packages for hundreds of kids. And I have to tell you, I was in awe. During the tour, they told me they were losing their funding for the program. They needed $35,000 in order to keep the program running for the year. They also told me they had more than 400 kids on the waiting list. I realized then the universe and God has to keep me humble too. I suddenly knew why I was there. Funny thing is, I woke up that morning thinking about how we could bring this event back to helping kids. Little did I know that going on a road trip to Mercer Street Friends, proclamation in hand, that I had my answer. And that is how tonight was born. I want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting us again this year. Your generosity over these past five years has been nothing short of incredible. I think it here means the world to me, reinforces the deep pride and appreciation that I feel to be your mayor. Thanks to the efforts of Robinsville community, the township employees, we have raised the $35,000 to send hunger packing for another year. <laughs> I 
Now everybody knows that they come here tonight, there's always a surprise. So before we say goodnight, I'd like to go out for another surprise outside. I'd like to bring up Armstead Johnson of Mercer Street Friends, and we are going to present him with an additional $30,000 that will help get those 400 kids off the weekend. Meeting. $35,000, but if my math is correct, that's $65,000 for Mercury Street Friends. Is $10. Woo! Woo! As, you heard, as you heard on the uh, video, uh, hunger doesn't know race, hunger doesn't know municipality. There's hunger group out Mercer County. Um, and through the efforts of everyone here, through the efforts of Robbinsville, and um, Mayor Freed, we thank you very much so that we will continue to send hunger back. Yeah. I'd like to please everyone please enjoy your refreshments. We do, you know, we have with us the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, and then a number of people in the community. <laughs> Through their leadership, they actually helped us organize one more uh, surprise for Mercer Street Friends. So we're going to step outside for a moment. Please stay, enjoy, have dessert, but we'll be back in a few minutes, but we're going to walk outside and just show them their last surprise. Thank you.